destroyed in the Bahamas, which is home to nearly 400,000 people. Overwhelming storm surge has swallowed entire neighborhoods. Video shows water that is waist deep and much higher in some locations, stretching for miles across the Abaco Islands. But the devastation is unprecedented and extensive. The punishing conditions were amplified when the storm stalled directly over Grand Bahama, crawling across the island at just one mile per hour. Our mission and focus now is search, rescue, and recovery. The life-threatening conditions have strained search and rescue efforts as distress calls were pouring in. This woman told a local news station that her eight-year-old grandson drowned in the rising water. I went to go to be my grandson dead. I didn't see my grandson about two days ago. My grandson just tell me love me. The death toll is likely to climb. This photo was posted by a local newspaper showing bodies being loaded onto the back of a flatbed truck. Kevin Tomlinson evacuated to a nearby shelter in Grand Bahama. We spoke with him overnight. You can feel the force and the pressure of the wind just banging against the building. It repeated over and over, non-stop. But our hearts are uh, still strong. And the, Bahamian, the spirit of the Bahamian people um, is still intact, and we will rise from this occasion. There are stories of people with so much... Carolinas have been ordered to evacuate. That's a mandatory evacuation. The reason this deadly storm has been stuck in place, pounding the northern Bahamas for nearly two days now. Take a look at this. This is the runway at Grand Bahama Islands International Airport. It looks like an ocean. CBS This Morning lead national correspondent David Begno is here in Cocoa Beach. And David, we are bracing.